asked 100 men and women what they think the superior household in Verona is. Capulet. Capulet. He says, Capulet. Survey says. Capulet. Juice. Even Steve Harvey knows the Capulets are better than the Montagues. Mm. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Looks like the Montagues won the game. We'll see you next time on Family Feud. Romeo, Romeo, are you there? Whoa. I'm McDonald, and I'm the manager and CEO of the best burger joint in Scotland. Scotland, Scotland. My employees here at McDonald's are extremely talented individuals who take pride in their work. Here at McDonald's, we believe in the hard work and passion that was shown by our ancestors before us. McDonald's treats their employees with the respect that they deserve. If it wasn't for McDonald's in this job, I'd probably be dead from the Black Plague. Our me is 100% Angus. Hey, Ross, you know the new guy, Angus? Where'd he go? You should come visit us in one of our many locations in Scotland and one of our new locations in Ireland. McDonald's, it's to die for. Hey Ronald, whatever happened to Angus? He got caught in the meat grinder. Don't put that in there. But thy eternal summer shall not fade, nor lose possession of that fair thou owest, nor shall death brag thou wanderest in his shade, when in eternal lines to time thou growest. So long as men can breathe or eyes can see, so long lives this, and this gives life to thee. And that concludes tonight's reading of Shakespeare's Sonnet 18. Now, if you'll excuse me... This program was made possible by the Inverness Foundation and contributions to your local TV station from viewers like you. Thank you. Good evening. We interrupt your regularly scheduled programming to bring you this breaking news report from the Cone Kill News Network. My name is Will, and this is the latest news from Scotland. A few hours ago, a group of three murderers killed Banquo, a Scottish nobleman, on his way to Scone. The murderers were armed with swords, each with handle attachments that allowed them to swing faster. The producers are telling me that we have a live feed of newly crowned Macbeth at the podium. Our reporter, Menteus, is at the press briefing now. Let's listen in. The recent killing of my companion and friend Banquo is a tragic event that will always be remembered in our hearts. These hilt attachments that the killers used should be outlawed and banned from Scotland. I'm going to say something that I think a lot of Thanes will agree with, and disagree with. More swords equals more violence. More swords equals more violence, a bold statement coming in from the King of Scotland himself. With me, I have the spokesperson of the NSA, the National Sword Association, Satan. Hello, reporter. No, I don't believe more swords equal more violence. More good guys with more swords <coughs> is the solution. Remember. It's the person, not the sword. Well, Satan, what is your opinion on the fateful event that happened today? Do you believe controlling ownership of swords will help? I want to make it clear that Scotland will not solve the murders of innocent souls by getting rid of swords. We need better ways to help the people of Scotland. Do you plan to hold further conversations with the king on your views? The NSA does not wish to um, discuss our agenda at this time. However, we hope that the king will continue to support our sword rights and will... Hold on, breaking news. We just got news of another killing. This one, the murder of Lady Macduff and her son. The weapon of choice, swords. We will continue to report to you on what has happened as the story unfolds. From the Combe Kill News Network, I'm Will.